Hello, everyone. Today's devotional reading will be from the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verses 1 through 7, where it is written, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I would go there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. If you've seen him, you've seen the Father. I don't know any other way to say it other than how it's written in Scripture. How, I mean, we all know that God exists. Everyone on some level knows that. How do you know you're right with God? On your own, you don't. You can speculate, and you can speculate. You don't know. The God incarnates, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ comes to us. And while God might be unknowable, in Jesus Christ we can know who God is. He shows that he's a God of love. What if I've done things that uh, I've gotten on uh, God's bad side? What if God will punish me? Jesus Christ says, don't worry about it. I offer myself, my own life, on the cross. You're forgiven. Are you sure? Yes. I'll tell you why well, uh, you're forgiven. I didn't stay dead. I rose again from the dead. I'm alive. You will join me in that resurrection. In that resurrection, you'll be able to have the direct relationship with God, with me. It's going to be wonderful. And so all the theological questions or, or thoughts people might have about God and all the mystery... In Jesus Christ, we know. If you've seen him, you've seen the Father. He tells you, I love you. I forgive you. You will join me in an eternal life, a life worth living. As far as God is concerned, that's all we really need to know. And because he's the Almighty God, when we build our life around God, things are different. Not saying that we're perfect saints and that we're invincible. Nothing bad's ever going to happen to us. Yeah, bad things can happen. But things change. God is ultimately our rock, the number one thing in our life. Now, if the number one thing in our life was anything else, if it was political power, if it was money, if it was fame, if it was blah, 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 it comes, it goes, it ultimately will fail. Jesus Christ will not fail. He died, and then he rose again from the dead. It's like a hymn I heard. It's so beautiful. Christ is risen from the dead, trampling down death by death. He defeated death by dying. And the final uh, line goes, and to those in the tombs bestowing life. I don't care how powerful you are, you can't cheat death. You will die. Jesus Christ died. And then he rose again from the dead, never to die again. And that resurrection he gives to us. So how, how, how do you know God? You don't know. God's unknowable. Unless it's revealed to you in Jesus Christ. In him we know all we need to know. God loves us. When we repent, we're forgiven. And we'll spend eternal life with him. Eternal life that begins right now in the present. As we love God and love others, we begin to join him in what he's doing. Let us close with prayer. Lord, thank you for being our rock, the God of our salvation. May you be exalted. Oh, Lord, forgive us our sins. May we join you in that life that is eternal. Amen.